magazine and so forth. And um, one day he sold the company to somebody else and he retired and that was it. He was, he was a nice guy, but I resented the fact that he didn't work harder at the company because when we started getting fan mail, after we did the Fantastic Four and Spider-Man, I knew we were on to something. And I used to say to him, let's take ads, let's publicize this, let's promote it, let's... Oh, Stan, come on, just write the story. You go back and play the <coughs> Scrabble. He didn't, didn't really care. So that was my beef with him. But other than that, he was a great guy. I knew him for years and worked with him, and, and he knew covers. <laughs> Do you think he would have been proud of you? What? Um, no, he was jealous of me. Yeah, I, I heard that. No, he was, because I started trying to promote the magazines myself. And I started doing interviews and be on radio shows. And I was getting all the publicity. And after a while, people thought, in those days we called it, yeah, we called it Marvel, but before that it was Atlas Comics. But people thought Marvel Comics was me. And I know that Martin resented it. Yeah. And, uh, but there's nothing I can do about it. Good job. <clears throat> yes, you, yeah. You didn't um, expect to hear about that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, with today's digital age, um, you know, I can't imagine, I hate reading comics online. What, how, what do you feel about the future of print comics? Well, I don't think uh, print comics will ever be as big as they were. I think in this digital age, young people are so used to seeing things on their computer on their e-pad, and they want to see pictures move also. Right. And I think there'll probably always be comics, but I think uh, To me, animation, you still have to have it in your hand, you know? Pardon me? You still have to have it in your hand, you know? Uh, you, I think so, yeah, yeah. but, you know, I'm an older guy. Young kids don't feel that way anymore. They, they can enjoy a story on their um, iPad where they can move the picture, they can make a picture bigger, they can make it smaller, they can quickly go here and come back here. And they enjoy doing that, and I can understand it. It's fascinating, you know, instead of just looking at something that sits there and it doesn't move. So I think as the younger kids come in and they become so <coughs> computer savvy and computer organized that the, I, I, not only comics, I think all of reading, all of books, and all printed matter will not be as popular as it had been yeah. because people read books on Kindle. And, so, mm -hmm. and again, they can make the type bigger or smaller or they can do whatever they want. They can go to another page. They can hold it. Um, if I were in the paper business, I'd be worried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been on the Universal Spider-Man rally? Have you ever been on the Universal <laughs> Spider-Man ride? Oh, yes. I love it. In fact, if you ever go to Orlando, where the Universal Spider-Man ride is, I'm bragging now, so forgive me, but right in front of the Spider-Man ride, there's a lamppost. And on the lamppost, it says Stanley Boulevard. <laughs> so yes, I've been on the ride, which happens to be a great ride. Let me add to that. We went to Orlando two years ago for Megacon, and they invited us to go to Universal. And we and the guy said, "Hey, get on the ride, Stan." I'm like, "Stan, you don't want to get on the ride." They go, "I want to get on the ride." He, I, I tell him, it was probably my worst. I mean, if there was ever a disaster that was going to happen, it was there because <laughs> he got on that ride, and I know what it, it's about—a 3D motion ride. And I was like this, I wasn't looking, you're supposed to look at the ride like this. I was looking at him, I'm like, oh my God, he's going to, he's going to do this. Oh my God, he's not going to, and that thing was moving us and doing this and doing that and the heat and so on, right? After we got done with the ride, my heart's doing this. I loved it. Let's go again. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I never knew that you had that little confidence. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need a new associate. Here's a follow-up, yes? Uh, is it true that most of your superheroes are based off dares? I'm sorry. Uh, is it true that most of your superheroes are based off of, based on dares? 
I, on what? Dares. I dare you to do this. I dare you to do that. Like, Most of the, the, the superheroes you created, you based, based on, on dares. dares. Yeah. I don't think so, dear. Yeah. Someone told me that Iron Man was based off someone dared you to make someone that everyone loved but everyone hated. So he said, Iron for example, I, um, they, they dared you, um, in Iron Man's case, um, to make a character that everybody loved, loved but also hated. Yes. So a character that they that you could both hate and love at the same time. No, honey, the, the only um, thing, and it wasn't really a dare, it's when I did the Fantastic Four and the publisher, Martin Goodman, said, um, I read or I heard that DC's Justice League is selling well. Why don't we do a group of heroes and put them together? But nobody ever dared me, nobody ever dared me to to do a Spider-Man or a Hulk or a Daredevil or anything. Okay, thanks for clearing that up for me. What is going on here? <laughs> I forgot I'm here. I'm having a little conversation. Stanley's right here. Okay. Let's see. All right, let's take a question right there. Um, in follow-up to John's question about Martin, was there a point in your career where it stopped being just a job that you were going to do and you really started to see it as the career that you wanted for your life? No. Okay. It was always a job. Um, it had to be a job. I, I was not one of the owners of the company. I was a salaried employee. I loved the fact that we were doing well, but um, I always resented the fact that we didn't have a company like Warner Brothers behind us that could really give us the money and the support. To, I felt marvelous. See, it happened finally. But when we were doing this in the 60s, the superheroes, I felt we should be as big as Disney. I felt with those superheroes, because I knew how people liked them. I used to read the fan mail, and I, I knew how the book sold. 